Let's get more now on that Japanese victory over the favourite Spain in the Olympic football. We can speak to Alan Gibson. He is editor of J Soccer Magazines in Kobe in Japan. Alan, how excited is Japan? Very excited, very excited, but not surprised. Ah, when you say not surprised, why not? Many people are. Um, in Japan, we're not surprised, but uh, looking at the headlines from all around the world, I see the words shock, stun, upset. And um, I think, to be honest, if you're a follower of world football, then uh, you should know by now that Japan are not to be trifled with. <laughs> this was, I suppose, if you wanted to be mean, you could say this was a Spanish team perhaps tired from Euro 2012. But that would be mean. The fact, the fact that they won Euro 2012 with uh, quite a few of those players, uh, they're professionals and it's only a two-hour flight. Japan is, what, 15 hours away. Do you think Japan now has a chance for a medal? I think we've always believed that Japan has a chance for a medal, but this was the big game. Uh, I think, uh, apart from the fact that they should have made it five or six goals instead of just the one, that will worry them. But I think the fact that they beat Spain means they can top the group, avoid Brazil and perhaps... Uh, meet Brazil in the final. But they're definitely going for a medal. Uh, you use that word professionals. I mean, there's this growing presence, isn't there, uh, of Japanese players getting into top flight of European leagues. How does that affect Japanese football? Uh, I think it's good for the national team. It's not so good for the J League itself because the, the best players are moving on. But uh, in the long run, I think it's good for the national team as long as the clubs over here are well compensated for the players that are going away. So what do you make of the next game? Uh, I think uh, Morocco in Newcastle will not be a problem. And uh, Honduras, well, nine points for Japan, I think. Alan, I think we'll be talking to you again about all this. Alan Gibson of J Soccer Magazine, thanks very much.